Stewart. It's me, Roy the Fox. And Eric the Pickle Jar. In the show about things. What kind of things is it about? It's about. What all... kind of things is it about? <laughs> it's about what all kind kinds of things. Of things. Kinds it's of the things. show about things. <laughs> Done. Just to put this into perspective, this episode is recorded on the 19th of May. So, this is going to be before the rapture. Ninjas! Before the ninja rapture. That's the worst one. Ninja rapture. Or a ninja raptor rapture. Uh, My name is Leroy the Fox. My name is Eric the Pickle Jar. And this is the show of Bad Days. Oh, yeah. That was a little racist. Okay, yeah. so um, we're not doing your bus thing, because you've clearly run I've out. I've got a new one. You're making them know. A new one yeah. from the other day. Okay. This is quite Just short. for the record, we're, we're not doing it as structured now. We've... We 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 decide for a while what, how we structure it. So we're just gonna. No, I like the structure. Of the no, I think we should just talk and see what happens. Okay. So I was on the bus. Oh, I didn't think that's where this was going. Yeah, I know. And I was sitting in the seat, and uh, there was this uh, Indian guy, and he was at the side of the road, like on the pavement, holding onto the rail, leaning over with a sandwich in a bag okay. with a number seven on it. And he was just holding it up, smiling, and looking at us demonically with his eyes all shiny. He was just there like, look at my sandwich, I have a sandwich. It looks like a pretty good sandwich from the way you described it. It was in a, it was in a bag, I couldn't see what it was, I could just see it had the number 7 on it. How do you know it's a sandwich? It might have been like in Pulp Fiction when you don't see what's in the briefcase, maybe it was something amazing. We should kill him and get it. He was overly happy about the sandwich though. But you then know, I realised that there was someone on we, the we other side of the road. We got an email today, and it said... Hey guys, there is no bus in Maldives. Googled it. It's a series of over a hundred island. Makes sense if you use boats instead. Just saying, stop making shit. Okay, there is a bus. Next I'll be saying that there isn't a tram line here, or there, there is not full of midgets, or I don't own the island. You don't own the island. Or that we don't have our own version of Disneyland, you don't we, with rats. <laughs> Ratland. It's got no rides, it's just literally a box full of rats. And you can put your children in it, but you've got to pay. Eight dollars an it's hour. It's expensive, isn't it? Yeah. For the rat box. Eight dollars. I remember when my dad used to take me to the rat box when I visited here and then went back to the UK and then came back. Okay, was that really your bus thing? A man had a sandwich. <laughs> a man had a sandwich. I think you really were really happy. A about... man had a sandwich. You heard it here first, folks. A man had a sandwich. I, I tried to keep the paparazzi outfit, yeah. You know. Well, the paparazzi are always too busy on us. Yeah, to be honest. in the Maldives. In the Maldives. Where we live. Clearly, with all their buses and shit. Cool. The, yes, Maldives parrot. That is They don't have parrots in the Maldives. <laughs> anyway. Just that one. I saw a girl. No, you did Today. You lied. Well, not today. It was yesterday. We don't have any girls on this island. Now and you, she, no one's going to believe that. <laughs> and she had tattoos on the tops of stockings on, right? On her legs. And she was wearing like, short shorts. I'm confused. Like the tops. Were they tattoos of the tops of yeah. stockings or were they tattoos in that area? No, they were tattoos of okay. in that area. Right. right. And I've got to admit, it looked pretty hot, but. Why didn't she just wear What about when she. Cause <laughs> Would that not be easy? No, I don't know what's more slutty, wearing stockings to like places or just having a picture of them stuck on your skin. But what about when she's 90? What about when she's 90? She's Who's going to see her legs when she's 90? She, you. Me, because I'll be like, oh, I remember you. You had that creepy tattoo. So, my thing... So, I was thinking about tattoos. And here's my theory, right? If I was to get a tattoo, I'd have to shave my fur. No one would see it anyway. But whilst my fur was shaved, of I'm going to get a tramp stamp. Do you know what they are? Yeah. That says slut. They have it. eggs on them, don't they? No. It would say slut on it. So then, when if someone chats you up, then they'll expect you to be really dumb. But then when they find out you're quite intelligent, you've already like gone higher than their expectations. On your face? What? On your face? Not, it, no, it wouldn't be a tramp stamp if it's on my face. Sure. Where are you going to have it then? Well, the place where tramp stamps go. So when you said, oh, well, I know what a tramp stamp is, you were lying, weren't you? You wanted to look cool for the audience. Yeah, but men don't show that part of their body. I'm not a man, I'm a fox. Yeah, but you, even you wear a suit and a tie. No, I don't. All the time. No. Yeah? I don't wear clothes. Clothes are warm. That's a people thing. You're, so just, you're, you're not just jealous because you're like made of glass and shit. You can wearing get... underwear. No. Oh. Uh. But I'm like a dog, so it kind of like goes. 
It's like in a little pocket. Pocket? Yeah. Like in snooker? No. <laughs> so, um, if you're listening, be sure to Google Fox Bollocks, see what you find. That's what I have. Getting a tattoo is a bit like cutting yourself. No, it's not. It is? No. I think that's why people do it. What? Well, it is like cutting what yourself. What are you on about? What are you talking about? What is this? Because... You, you, this has gone from, like, tattoos to, I'm a fucking creep. I cut myself to get off. Yeah. What? That's the thing. It is, no. That is actually what it is. It is actually cutting yourself and putting ink in. That is what it is. You're oh, tattoos. I thought you were talking about... But also... I thought you were still talking about psych- my bollocks. On a psychological sense, it is kind of like cutting yourself because cutting yourself is all about power over yourself and having the ability to do what you want with your own body. And tattoos are kind of about that. Yeah, right. Now that I know you're on about tattoos, yeah, I thought you were still on about my cock. I thought you were like, oh, your cock's a bit like cutting yourself to get it out. I was like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's your natural reaction. Well, <laughs> well, yeah. Whose reaction to hearing that? Your Is it a time like, for an interesting fact? I don't have one, because I talked about tattoos instead. I told you, less structured. Hook structure. Let's um, no, let's not just pick up a CD and read it. <laughs> okay. Sun, it rises. It does. Yep. It does do that. Sun rises. That's what I said on what we just read out loud. You know what else rises? Uh, you cock when you cut yourself. You cock when you cut yourself. It doesn't really count when I just said it. So, uh, we've run out of things to How say many pretty clearly. Eskimos. Again, no. You know, we were saying about that Eskimo village I never last said... time. Oh, and that wasn't last time. That was I don't know when that was. That was last time, I think. Yeah, we don't know when. So this was a, this is an Eskimo village, and basically they didn't think that any other humans existed in yeah, the world. But they still had metal cutlery. But they had metal cutlery made of asteroids. Meteors. Meteoroids. Meteoroids. Asteroids. No. What's the difference? There isn't one. Where one. So I was right first. One time. has a bit more ice in. The other collide. I think asteroids don't collide with Earth. Meteors collide with Earth. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. That's kind of my interesting fact. If that's right, Google it. Now, if I was right, thumbs up. Whatever this is, I'm not sure. Uh, add us to your friend list, followers. Anyway, um, give us five stars. Getting to the point, they didn't think that any humans existed in the world, right? Yeah. And uh, this brings us into our next subject of the end of the world. Yeah, of course. If everyone else on Earth genuinely believed that it was the end of the world in two days' time, yeah, and they didn't know about it, would they still? Would it still happen to them? What? Yeah, because it's the end of the world. What I'm saying the, is, the world would end, and they would die just because they don't know it's happening. If they've never heard of God and they've had no opportunities to hear about Him, and He's not spoken to them directly, if He exists, well, um, then surely that doesn't count because He's not even put in any effort to save them. God doesn't exist. He's yes, not playing... I know, but I'm saying in this scenario, he does exist, and it's the end of the world, but right. he, these people don't know about it. Surely that's God's fault, only they should go to hell. They've not been worshipping a false god because he hasn't told them otherwise, and they can't hear about the real truth. Don't start with religion and me. Oh, relig- religious people, if, if you're watching this, thumbs up. Now fuck off. Seriously, you're such idiots. He hasn't given them any sign. In the Bible, here's the convenient thing, they've used maths to determine it's the 21st at this end of the world. In the Bible it says, only God will know when it's happening. So you're kind of right in that scenario. Isn't that a bit convenient, people? Bit convenient that God... I'll tell you what, God, if you're here, smite me down and break this recording. I'm just kidding, because it doesn't exist. <laughs> Fuck you, religious people. You just... Religion is the cancer of humanity. It really is. And we are the cancer of the earth. Yes, we are. But mainly religion. Let's do a film in two minutes. I don't think we can. Okay. Let's do a film in two minutes, if you haven't just said that. I did. I don't think you did. <laughs> if you did, it's poorly edited then. Um, let's do Finding Nemo. Okay. I'm lost! Oh, there he is. No. No, That's it. I just high. did. I did Finding Nemo in under two minutes. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's, okay, let's no, do another. Let's do a load of Pixar. Let's do just do a load of Pixar films right now. Okay, wait. Let's do what, them in order. Let's do I them in order. I don't no, know what, okay. Tell me what order. Toy Story. Okay. 
Uh, you are a toy. You are a toy. No, uh, I am from space. I'm going to fly. I'm falling with style. I am a massive kid who is abusive to his toys. He, why is he um, Russian? <laughs> I drink the vodka. Ooh, the claw. I'm Bo Peep. I'm not in the later films. I, nobody really knows why. Who has a toy of Bo Peep if they're a boy anyway? Yeah, of course, you can't put your hand up and say, I have a toy of Bo Peep, because it's a toy of Bo Peep from Toy Story. That's different. That's not like saying you just had one before the meal. You bought, you got, it was like free with a Happy Meal when you were a child, because Toy Story came out. Okay, okay what was the it. second film? Bug's Life. I am a bug. This is similar to Ants, but Ants is better. Ants is better. Um, what, what are the dicks? Give us your food. No. I'm a grasshopper play by James That was me. Ward. I was the dicks. I'm James Ward. We don't want to give you our food because we like our food. I'm a ladybird and I have attitude. Oh, what are the other cookie characters? Oh no, it's raining, there's a bird, but the oh, bird's I'm on fire. I'm a stick, I'm a stick, and I'm played by Niles. Mm, stick, man. Yes. <laughs> um, I am a caterpillar. I grew wings at the end of the film, but I didn't change. I am nature's butt plug. I am a stick. What? Oh, That's horrible. I may break your bones, but I'll also break your heart. Okay, that's the end of that film. Cause <laughs> Monsters, Inc. That wasn't the next one. They did so many more of Monsters, no, Inc. Monsters, Inc. Okay. But I'm Michael Gowski. Goes... No, you're the, you can be the big one. <laughs> oh, 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 I scare people. I, Green I, touch. Hey, I, <laughs> I'm a bit of a twat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love you and all your snakey pubes. I am a, I am you think a child. she had snake pubes? <laughs> um, the girl with snake hair. Do you yeah. think she had snake pubes? I uh, bet she had snake pubes. Anyway, Mike doesn't have even have a penis. Boo. How do monsters make? Oh, child! I'm a child. I laughed, and it's better. The end. Oh no, I'm I'm a lizard. I'm a bit of a dick. Oh, I changed colour. The end. The end. I'm a. Okay. Okay, we ended that. Toy Story two. I'm Zerg. I'm. Oh no, Andy's going to leave us again. I'm Woody. You don't, am... you don't understand. I'm Jesse and I have abandonment issues. That's why I had sex with Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm when Pete and I'm she a was my child, every day was oh, beautiful. Oh, that's the most depressing bit of that every film. Every day was something, something. It, that's the saddest something, film. Something, something, I'm the horse. I don't talk. <laughs> this is the first time you've heard my voice. That's it, Jess. Ride me, because you have abandoned the We've, we've, that's, we've that's saved the uh, yeah. Woody. We've saved the Woody by finding Chase Kaplan. Finding Nemo again. Okay. I'm lost! There is. Okay, uh. Um, Wally. I'm all, okay, I'll be Eve. Why? Eve. Wally. Eve. Eve planned. Priority. I'm a fat man. The end. Oh, no. Cars. <laughs> I'm a Cars car. came before Wally. Shh. Cars, isn't cars we're driving. Ooh, let's not do a second. Bit. I've no, they are doing know, a second. It's going to be terrible. I've like learned the value of friendship, and, and I've decided not to win this race. Work. Okay, what happened? What else was that? That was it, wasn't it? No, they've done more than that. They've, oh, they've, up! I'm a comfy old man who sounds I'm a, a child. Like Richard Dixon. Don't molest ah. me, please. I used to be the president. Think about it. Think about it. he abduct. A child. He doesn't mean to. I'm not a cook. But I'm Nixon. Can we promise we would never do a Nixon impression? Because we're gonna get. That's what happens in the film, isn't it? Okay, Person we're, Nixon. We're gonna get flagged for my religious hatred. Hey, uh, I should have said boy. hatred before. Oh, I just made myself sound <laughs> racist or something. But I'm just not a fan of religion. You know? Okay. And he's not a fan. Let's of do the next one. That's not even out yet. There's two geckos. Gravity. And they have oh. to mate. Otherwise, they. Uh, <laughs> Where geckos will die, but they don't like each other. No. <laughs> oh, Rio. Oh, that's not fucking Disney. No, it's Pixar. Oh. <laughs> We're not <laughs> doing Disney films. Yeah. Pixar did not do Rio. Didn't they? No, because Rio... Is that DreamWorks? Yeah, Rio... DreamWorks do all the crap ones, like Shrek. Shrek 1 was good, and then they made 15 others. Okay, um, that's the end of the show about things. Good night. If you're religious, I love you <laughs> as a person, but you should change your beliefs to match mine. Oh, wait, that's what religious people think. <laughs>